Hey everybody, good morning. It's day two of the 12 Days of Christmas uh, spin along and today's topic, or not topic, I guess style that we're doing our skein in is woolen style spinning. And full disclosure for those of you who are super spinning purist, I am showing this on a uh, merino wool like roving and not roll legs. We are doing roll legs later in the the challenge but today uh, so I guess it's technically a semi style yarn but it's um, going to be a worsted spinning style uh, yarn and for those of you who are like what in the world are you talking about there are if you want to get super technical about it um, traditionally woolen style yarn is only spun from certain fiber preps and this type is not one of them but I spin uh, woolen style spinning on this type of fiber prep quite often and I like how the yarn turns out and so but I think it's technically a uh, like semi style so anyhow <laughs> um, but what we're doing today I wanted this to be accessible to spinners of all levels and all stages and so we are using like so the same fiber from yesterday this is one of our uh, monthly merino braid club braids that I stole for myself because I liked it and uh, let's see, over here you see our Christmas tree. Um, the Christmas tree is now where the wheel usually is, so we're scooted over here some. So I've got my wheel here. Let me move what I got on here. And move that. And this one on. And I'm going to put, I always have people start with it on just like a nice medium whirl setting and you can adjust for your own spinning up or down. And I have uh, stripped out and kind of pre-drafted, pre-drafting once again is where you go through and kind of loosen the fiber. It's especially helpful if you're a beginner, but helpful for everyone in general to get even yarn. And I'm just gonna get this twisted on here. And like I said, I never worry about any style too much till it gets on the bobbin. Just, okay, so it's on the bobbin. So for more of a woolen style yarn, like yesterday we did worsted, which is where you're like pinching forward and smoothing back. For, let me get the camera angle good. You can see my crazy yoga pants. For more of a woolen style spinning, what we're doing is we're gonna be pulling back. It's more of also called the long tail draft method. And so what I'm doing is I'm pulling back with this hand, my right hand. I'm pulling back. Here, we keep trying to get the camera angle right. So I'm going to pull back and then smooth. This is always a pain to get the camera right. And you see I'm pulling it back to like my hip and then walk it up. So with this hand, instead of a forward motion with this hand, it's a back motion with this hand. So I'm pulling back and smoothing. And I, I pull back all the way to like my hip. Bring it forward and then pull it back. And you don't want to pull it too hard or it will come apart. And this is actually my preferred style of spinning. This is how I spin most of my yarn here my Christmas trees trying to steal my fiber here um, this is how I spend most of my yarn so I'm very comfortable doing it this way and I like the look the general idea is see yesterday we were flattening the wool and then smoothing it back so we were really we were pulling it forward and flattening it and then spinning it whereas today we're pulling it back so the fiber instead of being flat is kind of like this so the twist is getting put in the fiber while it's kind of like this versus yesterday when we were putting the twist in it when it was like this. So this is from a worsted style. You're, pull, you're pulling it like real flat. Woolen, we're pulling it back and it's going to make kind of like this nice circular cone. And I mean, it's not a tremendous difference, especially, and this is where the fiber prep comes in. You know, if you're using the same fiber prep, you're not going to be like, oh my God, that's so different. But it's definitely, it gives you a squishier yarn, and it's got more of a spiral look to it, whereas worsted's going to be much more compact. So here, one few more times. Like I said, what I do, and I pre-drafted this, so you don't want to pull too hard, but pull back, 
And so you can feel the draft, and then I just follow along with this hand to just kind of smooth it, and you can feel the twist travel up it. And you want to keep your feet not too fast, because if you get your feet going too fast, you're going to get too twisty. So I've got my feet, which you can't see, kind of slow. And that's why I'd started on maybe a bigger, um, you know, medium to larger ratio size on your wheel so that you're not getting too much twist. But just, it takes a little practice. But this is my favorite way to spin. I find it most relaxing. And you just pull it back. Like I said, I pull it back all the way to my hip. And then it, I always say it's kind of like walking a dog. Like just walk it on up to the hook. And then pull back. And this is, this is how I spin most of our yarn, because I really like the look and I like the feel of it. And I've read that woolen style spinning, because it has more air trapped in the, you know, in the single, I have heard actually makes for warmer yarn. And it's also cool if you're making hand spun, because, um, you know, you can buy, mill spun yarn is much more worsted in style, where it's much more compacted. So if you're going to go through the trouble to spin your own yarn, I personally think having more of a rustic, fluffy, you know, airy style that really looks different. To me, it looks more like quote-unquote hand-spun than uh, woolen just because it's, you know, the nature of it. It's a little, it's a, I always describe it as rustic. It's fluffier and it's, um, you know, a little bit less predictable. But, like I said, I'm not hating on woolen, I mean, worsted style. Worsted style's great if you're wanting to make some yarn with really tight stitch definition. If you're going to be doing uh, plying, like Navajo plying, you know, having that real good worsted base is nice. But for nice, fluffy yarn, you know, woolen style. And it's definitely my favorite of actually spinning, is how I like to do it. Like I said, also, this is known as long draw method. A true long draw method, you, like, just do with one hand and I don't I can do it but I don't really care for it this I, I this is supported long draw where you're like supporting the single with this one and hold on I have once again forgotten to get my drop spindle here so look at the Christmas tree for a second Tomorrow, I promise I'll try to do better on remembering to have my drop spindle here. Um, and like I said, this may not be official. For me, a more woolen style on my drop spindle is uh, yesterday we did more of like a pull, like park and draft method, which is what I do more for um, worsted, for woolen. And once again, my preferred, you can tell I like woolen style spinning, my preferred style of drop spinning too. So I'm going to have to move this chair. And this is a bit more advanced. So if you are new to drop spindle, feel free to, uh, you know, this may take you some practice. Hey, Dee Dee's here. Hey, Dee Dee. But, hold on, Dee Dee. Okay. Let's see. Get the twist going. And I'm going to do this thicker so you can see. I am not looking at my spindle. It's down there spinning. But I'm doing much more. Like I said, this is what I consider more of a long draw method on a drop spindle. Where I'm really, instead of, you know, just kind of pulling it from the fiber supply and letting it go down, and here, just hit the floor, as long as it can. So that's what I consider where you get more of a woolen style, and like I said, it's definitely more of a fluffy style yarn. Let me rewind this on here. And, all right, Dee, don't be too loud. So like I said, yesterday we did more of a controlled, you know, really pulling it flat and then smoothing it out, you know, and then twisting again. So much more of a controlled pull and whatever, you know, pull and smooth was what we did yesterday for uh, worsted. I have the worst time keeping those two straight. Today we're going to do much more of a, here, my fiber keeps breaking. Today for woolen style, like I said, I just always... For me, I always uh, put woolen and like more of a long draw method is what I kind of, you know, I put those two together. So for woolen, I'm just really going to let it spin for longer and then just concentrate on making a nice 
fluffy, like a fluffier single. So like I said, not as much of a difference in my opinion if you're on a drop spindle, so just enjoy spinning. <laughs> More of a difference on the wheel, but um, you definitely, like I said, for me, if you're on a drop spindle, Dee Dee, don't kick my camera. Um, you know, worsted's more of a short motion and pulling it flat and smoothing it tight, whereas woolen, I really let the drop spindle go down as far as I'm able and let you concentrate on the drafting. Okay, Dee Dee really wants to be in the camera. Say hi, yeah. Dee Dee. Hi, okay. <laughs> Happy spinning. Happy spinning.